It was our 20 week ultrasound and my husband and I were excited. We expected to get cute ultrasound photos to share with our families and go home to tell our three year old son if he'd be getting a little brother or sister. Instead, our ultrasound revealed devastating news, news that I wish no parent should ever have to hear. Within 10 minutes of the scan, the technician's face went from mild observation to hard concentration. My husband squeezed my hand and I tried not to panic. We were told that our son's condition was not only incredibly rare, but also beyond repair. Then he told us, we believe your baby has a form of dwarfism so severe that her chances of survival are incredibly low, actually non-existent, incompatible with life. In a situation I never could have predicted, where I would never had a choice for the spontaneous development of my son's syndrome, I at least was allowed the decision to spare him an existence of prolonged pain or worse. After days of crying, researching, soul searching, no sleep, and a pain in my heart that would not stop, we decided to terminate so that Evelyn would not be subjected to pain and suffering. We loved her enough to let her go and be at peace. When I heard about HB 1948, my first response was a visceral one. My palms were sweaty, and I felt sick to my stomach. I'm in disbelief that just weeks after my family and I endured such tragedy, the Pennsylvania House is moving at breakneck speed on a bill which would strip a woman, which would have stripped me of my choice during such a vulnerable time. I want people to know that abortion is not about the unwanted, the unvalued, and the unknown babies of the world. Abortion is my story and what happened to my family. The decision we made for Evelyn was made because her life mattered to us, and it will always matter to us. Ask yourself, what would you want for a loved one if they were in our situation? What would you want for your niece, your daughter, your wife? I'd wish for them to feel loved and surrounded during such a grief-filled time, to have the space and the time they need to process such terrible news. I'd wish for them to have access to compassionate medical care and to have all of their options presented to them. I'd wish for them to have privacy in which to decide what is best for their unborn child and their families. And above all, I'd wish for them to be unconditionally supported in whatever difficult path they chose.